Good morning, PHS. Today is April 13, 2017. I'm Matt Reisner, and joining me today is guest anchor Katie McCormick. Thank you for being here, Katie. Thanks, Matt. I'm honored to be here. Well, PHS, there's a lot to get to today, so let's get this show on the road. PTV starts right now. Starting off the show, we have your SRT and after school meetings. Today during SRT, there will be a global discussion club meeting in room 146, and after school, there's a robotics meeting in room 141 from 3.30 to 5.30. And winner wins, you guys will be meeting from 6 to 9 p.m. in the music wing. If you haven't heard, prom tickets are now on sale. Hint, hint, Matthew, get our tickets. Uh, <laughs> tickets are $35 each, but hurry, this price is only valid for the first two weeks. On April 24th, ticket prices jump to $45. You may purchase tickets during your lunch hour. Remember, if you wish to bring a guest outside of PHS, arrangements need to be made in the front office ahead of time. All guests must be under 21 years of age and provide a photo ID the night of prom. IUSB is hosting STEPS, an activity-centered summer program for high school students entering grades 8 through 12. The program is one week long and taught by IUSB faculty. Each of the intensive learning camps introduces students to a different area of college study through lively, hands-on projects. The camps you can choose from include movie making, writing and editing, archaeology, robotics, and graphics and simulations. All camps are limited to 15 students to ensure maximum engagement with the faculty. Registration for each program is $125. However, a 50% discount is available for students with financial need. To apply for the financial assist assistance discount, Please visit our website or the PHS Facebook page. Are you in need of a job this summer? Well, Culver Academy needs quality individuals working in the boat shop, building maintenance, camp counselors, camp instructors, campus store, custodial movers, dining hall, grounds, the health center, and, or laundry and uniform. If you are interested, visit culver.org jobs. You must be 16 years or older to apply. If you have any questions, there are flyers around the school and in front of the guidance office. Seniors, the FAFSA filing deadline of April 15th this year is quickly approaching for free application for federal student aid to be completed. The U.S. Department of Education provides email and live chat assistance for FAFSA filers as well as a helpline at 1-800-4-FED-AID. Just in case you didn't know, April 15th is this Saturday. The yearbook staff will have light snacks and lots of helpers on hand to assist you in creating grad ads next Wednesday from 3.30 to 6 o'clock p.m. in room 120. The event is for anyone who wants to show some love to one of our soon-to-be graduating seniors. Bring your favorite photos, print or digital, and a message for your favorite members of the class of 2017, and the yearbook staff will help you build a grad ad. Also, get your 2017 PHS yearbook senior ads order sheet by visiting the PHS website. Elections for student council and class officers for the 2017-2018 school year will be taking place on Tuesday, April 18th for all underclassmen. To be eligible, you must fill out a self-nomination form that can be found on the bulletin board outside of room 111. Those forms must be completed and turned in before school tomorrow. Students may run for both positions, but you must mark on the form which one you want first. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Plotho in room 111. Any student that would like to participate in the full chorus for the variety show in May, now is your chance to sign up. Just stop by Mr. McKenzie's room and sign up on the sheet he has posted outside his room. The first rehearsal is today after school from 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. in the choir room. If you have any questions, see Mr. Van Antwerp in the choir room. Before we shift gears to PTV Sports, it's time for another edition of this week's movie review with PTV's Juan Garcia. This week, Juan gives you the lowdown on the new blockbuster hit, Power Rangers. Alright, this movie was based on a live action TV series called Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And it aired through the 90s. I wasn't a big Power Rangers fan going into this movie. I never seen the kids TV shows, so I came with no knowledge of its history. When I first saw the trailer, I thought it was a cash grab and it might be a disloyal to the fans. But, but without knowing anything of this movie, I thought this movie was decent. 
The best thing of the movie was the Power Rangers as a group. You actually care about them and the actors that play them was surprisingly well done. My two favorite Power Rangers in this movie were the blue one and the red ranger. If I had to rate the first act of this movie, I'd probably give this movie a 9 out of 10, but the second act and third act fell flat for me. The things that I didn't like was the visual effects in this movie. The other thing I didn't like was Alpha 5 as the robot. He was really annoying and all the jokes that he did fell flat. The action scenes was pointless when they were fighting the rocky creatures it was an easy attack for them and plus the CGI and visual effects did not help it. The worst part of this movie was Rita played by Elizabeth Banks. She was the worst part of the whole movie. Her acting was really bad and every time she was on screen I rolled my eyes every time she talked. So with that being said I'll give Power Rangers a 6 out of 10. Thanks Juan for that movie review. Alright guys now it's time for PTV Sports News. our PTV sports for today, let's check out what's on tap on the PTV Rundown tonight. At 5 p.m., the baseball team will take on the Triton Trojans on our home field. Also at 5 p.m., the varsity and JV softball team will be on the road at John Glenn. At 5.30, the PHS boys track team will face head-to-head -head against the Concord Minutemen on the road. At 5.45, the girls tennis team will be on the road taking on Chesterton High School. Good luck to all of our student athletes. We hope you all bring home those W's. As the March Madness tournament has come to an end, we would like to announce our winners for the March Madness Bracket Contest. In first place is Mrs. Schuler, who took home the grand prize, which is a $50 gift card to Buffalo Wild Wings. In second place is Mr. Wolf, and in third place is senior Chris Milton, who each received a $10 gift card to Sweet Swirls. Thank you to everyone who joined in on our PTV March Madness Contest. Thanks to you, it was a huge success. Are you interested in cheerleading next season? If you are, then come out for tryouts next Monday, April 17th and Wednesday, April 19th from 7.30 to 9.30 in the Multipurpose Gym. Plymouth Junior League Baseball is holding registration for its 2017 season. If you are interested in playing in the Pony League this summer, go to pjlb.activesports.com and click on the registration tab. Pony League is for players between the ages of 13 and 16. Registration closes this Saturday. The PHS baseball program is holding their annual Tom's Tasty Taters and Walleye Fish Sandwich fundraiser on Saturday, April 29th. If you would like to purchase tickets, please see any member on the PHS baseball team or email Coach Ryan Wolf at rwolf at plymouth.k12.in.us or Kevin Garrity at kgarrity at plymouth.k12.in.us. The cost is $7 per ticket, and all the proceeds will go towards equipment and materials for the baseball program. All right, guys, it's almost that time of the show, PTV Trivia Time. But before the big question, let's recap the previous PTV Trivia question from the week before spring break. The question was, who is the NCAA Division I all-time leading scorer? The answer is Pistol Pete Maravich. Mr. Norman's room won last week's question, as his room was picked by a random selector app. Congratulations, guys. By the way... Juan Garcia was capturing all the action for us there. Thanks, Juan. And thank you to the dozens of classes who took part in submitting your answers. Now it's time for your favorite segment, PTV Trivia Time. Get ready, teachers, to email in your answers. The question this week is, what are the four houses at Hogwarts? If you know the answer, email us at phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us with your class's answer. Again, the question is, what are the four houses at Hogwarts? Teachers, email us now at phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us if you know the answer. And at 10.55, we will pick one lucky class with the right answer to get our delicious prize. Today for lunch, we are having chicken and noodles, mashed potatoes, dinner rolls, as well as fruit and veggie bar. Well, that's a wrap of this week's PTV News and Sports. Thanks for joining us, everyone. 
Tune in next week for another edition of PTV News. Have a spectacular day, PHS.